always want to know who Charlemagne the God's donkey of the day is um, on the Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. Okay. An 11 year old girl is charged with felony after reporting her friend <laughs> missing in a YouTube challenge prank. The lady, remember we talked about them stealing Kias? Yeah. Now the latest prank is calling and reporting people kidnapped. That's not funny. Thanks, Carly. I think Carly had that. I think she helped get that going. People don't understand these pranks is going to get us in trouble. I think Carly Russell started that. Because you know kids, they a lot of them are dumb. So you just need to do something little. So are they just going to ignore them then? No, no. She was, no, they trying to make an example. So it says here, a Florida girl was arrested after making a false report that her friend was kidnapped. The 11 year old girl from Port Orange, Florida, text 911 around 945 on Wednesday and falsely reported that her 14 year old friend had been kidnapped by an armed man who was driving a white van, according to the sheriff's office. The 11 year old says she was following the van in a blue Jeep. For the subsequent hour and a half, the girl text updates to 911, which included a description of the suspect and that he had a gun. Multiple deputies said they responded to the report to search for the van. Ultimately, the officials tracked the girl's cell phone, which led them to her home. Roughly 40 minutes after receiving the 911 text, officials arrived at the home and talked to the girl's father, who said she was inside with the family. The sheriff's office said as the police approached 11-year-old, she was holding her cell phone, which was ringing. The sheriff's dispatch was on the other end of the call. The girl then told the police that she got the idea to prank 911 through a YouTube challenge. That's out right now. She thought it'd be funny. The sheriff's didn't agree. He said this kind of prank actively is dangerous. What is wrong with you? We're going to investigate every incident, but today is a wasted, valuable resource that might have helped someone else Thank who you. legitimately needed, needed help. Needed some help. The girl was charged with making a false police report concerning the use of a firearm in a violent manner, which is a felony. She was also charged with misuse of 911, which is a misdemeanor. Same thing with Carly. The laws are going to change. Yeah, they They're to not going to make laws. this a misdemeanor. It's going to be a felony. You are, yeah, jail time, jail on your record. They serious. They going the to share this. And because we didn't, people didn't do stupid stuff like this. That's why the law needs to catch up. And the sad thing about it is that we're always putting a lot of um, uh, um, requests on our police departments when it's dealing with racial profiling and all of that, they have enough to try to catch up and do what they need to do as an officer. But now you're throwing in fake 911 calls and, and abducted, <clears throat> people being abducted. That's not good for the them. The sheriff's office said the, um, the girl was transported to Family Resource Center for processing before being transferred to the juvenile detention center. In a body cam footage released by the sheriff's office, a deputy is heard telling the girl who is handcuffed and whose face is blurred, this is going to be an opportunity for you to turn to a learning experience. This is not something that you're going to carry with you for the rest of your life. This isn't the first time that reports of fake abductions have circulated in recent weeks. The story of 25-year-old Carly Russell made headlines after she mysteriously vanished for 49 hours, but then <laughs> reappeared explaining she was kidnapped. Alabama police said on Wednesday that they pretty much knew that the story was a hoax from the beginning or when she returned home, rather. And then you're going to get family members upset when your call comes through. The police probably the first thing they're going to have to say is, is this legit? Is this another hoax? The thing that makes me nervous about this wow. is that it's on TikTok now yeah. and YouTube as a challenge. And now it's a challenge. So that means that all of the kids uh, that are dumb that do stuff like this, they're going to look at this as a challenge. So while there's thousands and thousands of people getting kidnapped every day, they're going to be mixed in with these hopes. So God forbid if something happens to somebody in your family, 
they got to comb through and make sure that it's not but a hoax think first. about this. The sad, remember copycat, copycat crimes? Yeah. There are knuckleheads sitting back going, this is a good time to start abducting somebody because they may think it's a hoax. We may have the time we need to get them, to get out of town, to hide them away. Yeah. Because the police officers are not believing a right away. Yeah. So think about that. That makes it a problem for those who feel who wants to do this for real. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> so let's oh, hope this us. hoax don't catch help on. Us, help us. And let's hope that they go after they really throw the book. And I agree, this shouldn't have the whole, whole life. We all did stupid stuff at 11. We would call, call and, people and say your refrigerator yeah, right running. We did stuff like that. But we that. didn't involve the police. We did stuff that sometimes. That's why I got nervous when my mom called nine one one, and he was at the door. Y'all saw said, that when y'all was live. Don't do that no more if it's not an emergency. But here's the Ooh, thing: my heart was beating. There definitely should be some consequences. I agree with the police officer. This doesn't define who you are for the rest of your life. Not at eleven. Unless you but have she got. But you got to do something hard to them. And each day because it can't be a a thing, a TikTok challenge now. Because kids gonna be like, it's not worth this TikTok challenge. You right, gotta, you go gotta to do a, a, a hundred hours of community service. You gotta go to detention for like two months. You get kicked out of school. You get it. Gotta be something where it's like, is this, let's move on to another TikTok challenge. Not this and one. Each state may have a whole different rule on I it. I know, like Alabama, maybe what well, we see what Carly's dealing with. In Illinois, they may have more years in jail. Yeah, we they may know. have more money. So, so each state could be different with that law. Zen says we are meeting people who get special licenses in New York State. The bad part about it is the U.S. has been accepting people.